Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is just a quick look at one of the figures from the October Guard faction of the G.I. Joe toy line. This is Red Star from 1991. The October Guard was the Russian equivalent to the G.I. Joe team, an elite military unit on the Soviet side of the Cold War. The October Guard debuted in the comic book series. The team evolved over the years, but for most of those years, they were not represented as action figures. Not until the 1990s did we get October Guard action figures, and Red Star was one of them. Red Star came with numerous accessories, maybe too many accessories. He has more than he can carry, unfortunately. And it's actually uh, an intricate set of accessories. They all fit together uh, in a very complicated way. Uh, so uh, I can't fault him in the accessories department, uh, but it would be nice if he could carry them all at the same time. Among his many accessories, he has a a removable hat very nice uh, he has this uh, double Gatling gun thing uh, that he has on his forearm with the grip um, and that has an ammunition belt that runs to the backpack uh, the backpack is also uh, pretty amazing it has an antenna that is a separate piece it is removable so that's easy to lose it also has a knife uh, that attaches to the backpack a pretty cool knife. According to the instructions that are on the card, that knife should go on the backpack uh, with the handle side up, but I've tried that and that bends the blade. So uh, I am going to keep the knife in with the handle side down and I think that looks okay. He also comes with an AK-47 uh, with a big scope on it. Looks pretty good. Uh, and then he has his spring-loaded missile launcher. This black missile launcher has a grip and a shoulder mount. It has a viewfinder and a button in the back to fire the missile. And it has one red missile uh, that can go in this barrel. Uh, press it all the way back until it clicks. Uh, and then you can press the button in the back to fire it. It has a lot of power in that spring. It's very impressive. This is reminiscent of the classic RPG that you probably remember from a lot of Cold War movies. Of course, uh, the proportions are a bit different because uh, it is for an action figure and it does need to accommodate the spring firing mechanism. I don't often put it in the figure's hand because the space between the grip and the shoulder mount uh, places the hand at an awkward angle and I am concerned about breaking the thumb on the figure. I have the full card back for Red Star. It's nice to have these full card backs, but this one is in terrible shape. It's all warped and bent. I discovered while browsing through Mark Belomo's Ultimate Guide to G.I. Joe that Red Star has a file card variant. And not just a variant on the file card, but a variant on the front of the card as well. The earliest card backs for Red Star had a red background, which usually designated an enemy action figure, and on his file card it had his faction as Cobra, which is incorrect. The October Guard is not part of Cobra. An update to the card was made. The second iteration of Red Star's card still had this red background, but on the file card they placed a sticker over the Cobra emblem uh, that said G.I. Joe, this blue sticker. And that is a sticker, you can feel it. You could maybe peel it off and behind that would be a Cobra emblem for the faction. And the last version of the file card updated that to have a printed G.I. Joe faction with a black background. And the front of the card changed the red background to blue. I'm not quite ready to review Red Star yet because I only have one of the three card variants. And that was our quick look at Red Red Star. I was always a big fan of the October Guard, and it's nice to have October Guard action figures. I did not have that when I was a kid collecting G.I. Joe toys, so it's kind of a thrill to actually have real October Guard figures. I can't say when this will be ready for a full review. I'll have to track down the card variants, but I will be on the lookout for those. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the figure for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you to my patrons who make this show possible. I'll be back with full vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews in the future. And until then, always remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.